In this episode, I will be sharing tip on how to convert repeating decimals to fractions without dividing. I have a separate and detailed lesson about the formula on how to convert repeating decimals to fractions. Find episode 79 and watch that video to learn that topic. Okay, this time, let's convert this repeating decimals to fractions. Okay, let's start with 0 0.2 repeating. So to find the denominator, our formula would be check the digits to the right of the decimal point. Since 2 is repeating, we said that we have to represent this as 9. So our denominator is 9. And to get the numerator, get first all the digits without minding the decimal point. So we have 2 minus the non-repeating digit. We don't have non-repeating digits, so this is 2 minus 0. So our fraction is 2 over 9. Okay, if we are going to check, 2 is smaller than 9. So that means our number to the left of the decimal point is 0. And how are we going to get the decimal part? Okay, since this is 9, 9 is repeating digit. And let's get the numerator. So it's 0 0.2 repeating. So this is the same with this one. Okay, what about for this next repeating decimal? We have 1.23 repeating. This digit's Two and three are repeating. So how are we going to write this as fraction? Okay, again for the denominator, consider the digits to the right or after the decimal point. Two is repeating, so we will represent this as nine. Three is also repeating, so we will represent as nine. So the denominator of the fraction is ninety-nine. And to get the numerator, okay, first. Get all the digits without minding the decimal point. So 123 minus the non-repeating digit. So 1 is non-repeating, so this is minus 1. So we have 122 over 99. Okay, let's check if this is correct. 122 over 99, if we will convert this one to mixed number, this is 1. And 23 over 99. Okay, this whole number 1 is our whole number. So 1 point. And to get the decimal part, take a look at 23 over 99. Okay, this is 99. That means this is our repeating digits. And check the numerator, 2, 3. So we have 2, 3. As the repeating digit. So we have 1.23 repeating. So this is also the same with this given. Okay, but be careful because you can only use this tip if the digits after the decimal point are repeating. Okay, if there is a digit that is not repeating, after the decimal point, then this tip will not be working. Okay, let's give an example. We have 1.23 repeating. Only this digit 3 is repeating. If we will follow this uh, tip, so it will be like this. So to get the denominator, so this is 9 and 0. But we said we have to interchange this number. Because 9 should come first before 0. So the denominator is 90. Okay, and to get the numerator, get first all the digits. So we have 123 minus the non-repeating digits. So non-repeating digits are 1, 2. So 12. 123 minus 12. This is equal to 111. So 111 over 90. If we will convert 111 over 90, 
to mix number. Okay, it will be 1 and 21 over 90. 1 and 21 over 90. Okay, 1 point and look at this one. So 90 means 1.21 repeating. So 1.21 repeating, this is not the same with 1.23 repeating. So I'll repeat, this tip is only applicable if the digits, okay, after the decimal point are repeating. If there's a digit that is not repeating after the decimal point, then we cannot use this tip. So in order for us to convert this one to a decimal number, okay, we have to use division.